Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm Justin with Excel Smith. Are you stuck with data that looks like this? Those merge cells look nice, and sure, we know what's going on. However, they make analyzing the data extremely difficult as we are, for example, unable to add meaningful filters or useful pivot tables. For Excel to work its best, each row should be able to stand on its own. Our goal is to easily copy the date and region codes and paste them into the appropriate blank spaces. When we're finished, we'll have something that looks like this. Yeah! Now that we know what we're going for, let's get, wait, who are you? You said we need to make a copy in this video. I'm the copy. I meant we need to copy our data. Oh, in that case, let's get started. Hey, I say that. Okay, then say it. Let's get, you know, just, just go to the tutorial. The first step towards making this data useful is to remove the merged cells for the dates and regions that are spanning multiple rows. The easiest way to do this is to select all of columns A and B by clicking and dragging across their column headers. With the columns selected, click the drop-down next to Merge and Center in the Home ribbon. From this menu, select Unmerge Cells. Now that we've unmerged the cells, we need to fill the blanks in columns A and B with the values immediately above the blanks. In other words, we want the range A3 through A7 to contain December 27, 2021, which is the value in cell A2. We want the range B4 through B5 to contain region B, like in cell B3, and so on. The long approach would be to select the cells with values one at a time. Then, while holding Shift, select the last blank cell that should have the same value and press Ctrl and D on either Mac or PC. As we can see, this fills the blank cells with the value at the top of the selection. While this does work, it would be quite tedious and time-consuming to do for every grouping in our small dataset. I wouldn't want to even think about doing it for a larger dataset. Fortunately, Excel has a much simpler solution that works regardless of the size of your dataset. Let's press undo a few times to get back to our original but unmerged data. The first step is to again select all of columns A and B like we did when we unmerged them. We first need to select all of the empty cells in these columns. To do this, select Find and Select from the Home ribbon. From the menu, select Go to Special. In the Go to Special dialog box, select Blanks and then press OK. Like magic, all of the blank cells in columns A and B have been selected. Even though our initial selection was all of columns A and B, Excel was intelligent enough to select only the blank cells that are part of our dataset, that is, the rows 2 through 19. We now need to tell Excel which values need to go into these selected blank cells. Again, Excel makes this easy for us. First, type an equal sign. Pay attention to which cell the equal sign appears in. In our dataset, that's cell B4. Next, select the cell immediately above the one with the equal sign. Lastly, press Ctrl and Enter on either Mac or PC. Pressing Ctrl and Enter repeats the function across the entire selection. Just like that, we have filled in our data. Two quick cleanup steps and we're finished. First, let's update the formatting for the dates in column A. Select cell A2 followed by the Copy Format button in the Home ribbon. With the Copy Format active, draw a selection over the dates in the range A3 through A19 it's okay to select the cells that already contain the correctly formatted dates. The last step is to replace the formulas we added in columns A and B with their values. To replace the formulas with their values, first select the range A2 through B19. With this range selected, press Ctrl and C on a PC or Command and C on a Mac to copy. Next, select Paste from the Home ribbon, followed by Paste Values. With a few simple steps, we can take data that's difficult to analyze and turn it into something that can take advantage of more of Excel's features. If you found this video helpful, pressing those like and subscribe buttons is always appreciated. If you want even more Excel wisdom, check out that video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.